Android 12 is rapidly approaching stable status with the latest Beta 4 release, which is now available for Pixel phones. The new release adds platform stability for Android developers, we'll talk about what that means in a bit, as well as polishing up things more generally and making a few last minute changes to new Android 12 features. Take a sec to subscribe to Android Central so you don't miss more Android 12 coverage in the coming weeks, and we'll get stuck into what's new. First off, the Android 12 Easter Egg is now live in this latest beta. These little animations and hidden features have been part of Android for the past decade, and in Android 12 what you're treated to if you wind this themed clock to 12 o'clock is an explosion of Material U style spheres. Naturally these change depending on your backdrop and which theme you have selected. That's pretty much it at this point as far as what's known about this easter egg, but of course Android 12 is still a work in progress so it's possible things may change in future. A lot of the annoying bugs in Beta 3 have also been ironed out in this build. Things like tapping icons in the launcher sometimes resulting in the wrong app being loaded, and slow performance while changing wallpapers. The colourful power on and power off animations also work a lot more reliably in this latest build. However, what hasn't been fixed is perhaps the most obvious visual glitch from Beta 3, the ugly misaligned search bar in the app drawer is still present in Beta 4. What's probably going on here is that we'll be getting a new Pixel launcher that works with the new on-device search system along with stable Android 12, so probably Google just hasn't bothered fixing this bug because the current launcher will eventually be going away anyway. In fact, we've already had a glimpse of the new look Pixel launcher in the recent Pixel 6 sizzle reel. Otherwise, in terms of visuals, there are a few more themed app icons supported in this latest build, and the themed icons feature itself is explicitly tagged as beta in this build, kind of suggests it might be staying beta even after Android 12 itself goes stable. And if you do opt into themed icons, you'll notice in this build that the theme colours apply to the Google search bar as well. The somewhat controversial internet tab in the quick settings area has been tweaked too, with an easier direct toggle to turn Wi-Fi on or off. I'm still not a huge fan of the way this works, but it is at least a bit less confusing than before. There are also a few new sound effects in this latest beta. First discovered by 9to5Google, these sound slightly softer than the Pixel sounds we've been used to for the past few years. Take a listen. Next up, sharing from the Recents menu has been further improved in Beta 4. This was actually live in Beta 3 in a limited form for some web URLs. Now the Recents menu will highlight not just links to web content when they're shown within an app, but also large images. This is actually really useful if you want to share stuff in a message or a tweet without downloading it to your internal storage first. It's easier to just tap and share without cluttering up your downloads folder. Android's long-rumoured gaming dashboard is also finally live and fully functional in Beta 4, giving you quick access to handy features like a Do Not Disturb toggle, screen recording, screenshots, and even live streaming through YouTube Live. Game dashboard is disabled by default and a little bit buggy right now, plus in my experience you might need to reboot to get it to actually work, but it's there and once you've got it activated all the features pretty much work as advertised. So right now Android 12 has just entered what Google calls the platform stability stage, which means from this build onwards there shouldn't be any changes affecting the way apps targeting Android 12 interact with the OS. Stability for developers then, but that's not quite the same as stability for regular users like you and me, meaning that even at this late stage there are still known bugs in this beta version of Android. The next step is the release candidate build of Android 12 which will likely land towards the end of August, in line with when we've seen the .1 releases of Beta 2 and Beta 3 in previous months, which would line right up with stable Android 12 landing around mid-September. If you've tried this latest Android 12 beta, hit the comments and let us know how you're getting on, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our full review of Android 12 when that lands. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.